This field, seeing this oh. place back. Like old times. Yep. Ready to go. Chris Pacey, one of our three-man officiating crew, puts the ball in the air, or was about to. And it's the Cowboys in the home white that have the game's first possession. Cowboys in their little streak here, winning three out of five. The ball has really moved well. Great balance in that offense. One of the freshmen, Brandon Garrison. Small weaving into the lane, kissing and scoring. They, they are a downhill team. There's your starting five for OU. Porter Moser told his friend just a short time ago he does expect Rivaldo Soares to play off the bench. He's just not sure how much. Sooners turn it over on their first possession. The starting five for OSU that's really finding its strike. Garrison, pocket pass, Williams. Keon Williams has really caught fire in the last couple of weeks as well. Yeah, but a terrific pass by the freshman Garrison. Last five games, all five starters in double figures. Jalen Moore trying to respond and does so with a turnaround jumper. Well, Jalen Moore has had a terrific junior year, the transfer from Georgia Tech, one of the best athletes in the Big 12. These teams played exactly two weeks ago in Norman. Four-point win for OU, 66-62. OSU, three of 17 three-point shooting in that game. And according to Mike Boynton, we're 11 of 33 on layup attempts. Did not shoot the ball well, but they are off to an outstanding shooting start as Garrison contributes from the baseline. And we see the ball movement so far excellent. Milos Yuzan. Oway, the drive and the bucket. If OU can get Oway going, that is a huge plus for the yeah, Sooners. No question about it. He has not played up to his capability the last month of the season. One of the more approved players in the league. And on that cue, there was Jamiron Keller. Here he is again for OSU, feeding his fellow freshman Garrison. Trying to back down Godwin. Goes to the left hand and scores. Oh, big time move. Two Oklahoma kids going to battle right there. Great start for the Cowboys. They have hit their first four shots from the field. Sooners have hit both their field goal attempts. That shot's blocked by Williams right back to Moore. Goes up a second time. Too strong. Godwin got undercut by Garrison. So five on four for the Cowboys. Three, Williams. Davian McCollum down the lane and scores. There's nice. another one they want to get going today. Yeah, no question about it. Javian's coming off, uh, I think, a spotty performance against KU. He's had a really good year after transferring from uh, Siena. They had a week off, Mark, so I'm going to be interesting to see how much energy the Sooners have today. Off the knee of Small, says the baseline official Bobby Bassant. And they turn it over for the first time. Yes, the orange jacket has come out for Mike Boynton today. Looks sharp. Got that cowboy t-shirt underneath as well. And his team has won four in a row here against the Sooners. Six of the last seven. A couple of those wins against Porter Mosier and the others against Lon Kruger. Usain, 14th footer, left it off the front rim, and Garrison almost tipped it in his own bucket, but Karen to right. Knocked out of his hands, out of bounds, it'll stay with the Cowboys. Now Luke North, North weather in the game. Remember, John Hughley is out indefinitely with a knee surgery that Porter Moser told us he thinks he will be back before the end of the season. And the redshirt freshman from Jefferson City, Missouri, has a really good opportunity to step up and uh, contribute. Small uses a screen for Garrison. They double him. Three, Keller. That's short. 
More skies for the rebound. Almost losing the dribble, Yuzan. Sooners down two. Yuzan trying to tie it. Cannot. Mike Boynton definitely wants to push the pace in here with this crowd. Small stops, pops. Moore almost stepped on the baseline going after that rebound, and he nearly collided with Darthur going up for that rebound. I would have liked to see Small move that ball a little bit. He can get that ISO situation later on in the shot clock. The big man likes to shoot the threes off the mark. Moore offensive putback. And we're tied at eight. Tremendous, tremendous job by Jalen Moore in the glass. We talk about the great athletes in this league. He comes to mind immediately. So Oklahoma State, after hitting their first four shots to start the game, have missed their next three. Northweather almost the steal. Williams. Great second side action. There was a back cut or a burn cut first, and that set up the back door out of the corner. Oway tried to thread two defenders, lost the handle, able to keep it, but then has it stripped away by Garrison. Williams will set it up in the half court. Good pace to start this game, Fran, on both sides. Uh, we expected this. This is an important game for both teams. Oklahoma coming off two losses. Williams stop, turns off the left side. Another rebound for Moore. Already five rebounds for Jalen Moore in this game as we come to the first timeout. Early two-point lead for Oklahoma State and Stillwater. ESPN's exclusive presence. Again, I think of this great history, and I think of Coach Sutton, Billy Tubbs come to mind. So many great, uh, so many great opportunities like that. Nicely done, and that pass came from Suarez, who was back after missing the Kansas game with an ankle sprain. And that inbounds lob is the first assist of the game for OU. Oklahoma State, three assists on their five made baskets, and now as Keller cuts to the bucket, Wright throws behind him, and Oklahoma State turns it over for the second time. And, and if you hear the term ATO, we say out of timeout, after timeout play, and Porter Moser says, yep, we've been working on that. It's a good time to pull it out. Bedlam early in the game. That ended about a two-minute scoring draft for OU. By the way, all ten points for the Sooners have come in the paint. Eight of the ten for Oklahoma State have come in the paint. Trying to score more in the paint. Tip, Northweather. First lead for the Sooners. I think the injury to Ugly, as big a blow as it is, it is giving Porter Moser a chance to tell Luke Northweather, you're going to play and you're not going to come out. Small around and out on the three. Williams can't miss the put, can't hit the put back. And Williams is that energizer bunny. You love this kid. He plays so hard. He wishes he had that shot back. But a great offensive rebound. And Williams had a double double against OU two weeks ago. 12 points, 10 boards. His fourth double double of the season. And he wasn't far from a triple double in their win over Cincinnati Wednesday. Yeah, but he, he is really, he's only a sophomore out of Jones Four Arkansas. He reminds me of Darian Williams. Uh, Texas Tech. Here it is. Yeah, well, Williams getting to the rim and is fouled. So they get that on Soros. Nope. Yeah, well, you know, obviously, this is a big game for a lot of reasons. Oklahoma has lost back to back games to ranked teams. Baylor and Kansas. They can't afford to. Uh, they've got to end this schneid. And then for Oklahoma State. Last two games, they really, really look like a good basketball team as we watch these young freshmen grow up. Yeah, six freshmen on the squad, four play meaningful minutes, and we pick out Keller and Garrison as the two freshmen who have really made huge strides in the last few weeks. Yeah, and then, but would you, you know, I think Eric Daly Jr. Yeah. is about to walk by us right now and enter the game. It's been outstanding as well. The improvement of Garrison, I think from the start of his freshman year till now, has been very dramatic. And there you see the numbers, Mark. And Keller particularly. How about that game last Saturday? He didn't miss a shot. It's BYU. 
Yeah, and Scrabble, only two D1 freshmen have done that this year. The other, Tennessee Tech's Wiley Stanley's. And Kelly went eight for eight from the field, four or four three pointers, two or two from the line. And there's Soren. That's so important because I really feel as Williams gets rejected that. Uh, Rivardo Soares, the junior college transfer, really the transfer from Oregon after Juco, I thought, and Porter Moses agreed, he was the best player on that team for about three weeks. And they really missed him against Kansas last week. And first game he's missed at any level, and he warmed up before the game against the Jayhawks, but Porter Moses said, no, we, we can't miss this. We got no midweek coming up. There's a bucket. Yeah, Williams again. He's been extremely aggressive getting the ball to the hole. What I love about this kid is his, it's not just his energy and effort, but his enthusiasm for the game. There's a great play. Watch it. Go ahead and flex, big guy. Go ahead, man. You earned it. He plays with a joy for the game, and he's really become, I think, a, in his own way, a team leader as a sophomore. We had a chance to see Desi Sills last year at Kansas State. And this is Desi's uh, young cousin, they combined for a state title over in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Just about eight minutes into the game, tied at 14. Then the matchup between OU and OSU. Ready to set the court, Gallagher Iowa Arena in store. High level energy, man, but we expected it. Yuzan working his way down low to lay it in. Both teams continuing to get the ball in the paint. Yes, yeah. Defense is pretty good, but the offensive execution has really been excellent, given what's at stake. See all 16 points for the Sooners in the paint. Bailey, one of those freshmen. Small, spinning, and scoring. Yeah. Oh, I love the way this game has started out. Terrific execution. Players playing under control, but making offensive plays. Offense has been better than the defense so far. Yuzan spots up a three. Northweather got a hand on it, tried to tip it out to Darthard. His pass deflected out by Williams. And that's going to be OU ball. Soares knocked to the court, helped back up by Yuzan. A high flying start here in Bedlam on this Saturday. Almost nine minutes in, tied up. Play and Mike Point told us slowly but surely this team is growing up. Mike Point's team had 20 assists in that game, their most in a Big 12 game in three years, and their most in a Big 12 road game in eight years. Wow, nice play! A little too much. Tried to run a little slip screen for more, and Yuzan just overthrew him. You know, an interesting stat about this season for to get to your point about the assists in games where they lose they average about 10 assists in games where they win they average 19 and the injury to Bryce Thompson was a big blow he did it at Kansas I was there but the ball movement has actually been better Bryce such a good one-on-one -on -one player but they can't rely on that right now so the ball is really humming and that's shown in the assists. And season high 20 in Cincinnati Wednesday. Garrison facing up. That went back in the game for the Sooners. Was Daly got pinned underneath. Somehow found Garrison who scores. Daly's another guy I really like playing. He's a big, strong kid. He's got some guard skills and he's got that versatility that you just saw a piece of right there. Great time. There is more with a three. Godwin does what he does so well, and that's offensive rebound, but missed the putback. And Godwin is the best in the country at hitting the offensive glass. Nice pass. Garrison. This time finds Daly, and Godwin takes it away, but then he loses it, falls hard to the court. Garrison on top of him, I think, is getting the foul. Yeah. And Garrison should have gone right up when he caught it. It's a good play. You cannot, you cannot jump on the guy that's on the floor. See, he should have gone right up on Moore. Instead, he tries to hit Daly. And then a scrum ensues. And see, that's a foul. He puts the, up, the man on the floor already at disadvantage. Good hustle by the freshman. 
You know, not long ago, that would not have been a foul. That would have been just a 50-50 ball. But clearly, they're trying to take that kind of play out of the game. Call it backs up for a three. Just a little bit long off the heel. Neither team shooting the three ball well. Same result for five. Oh, good pump fake. 17 footer Garrison almost banked it in. I thought Small was a little un too unselfish there. Away. Cowboy fans wanted to travel. Three from the corner for McCollum is short. Well, the Sooners off to an 0 for 6 start beyond the arc. Cowboys are 0 for 3 in that department. Godwin at Garrison. He went left hook earlier. There he goes to the right handle that time, and Daly saves it on the baseline. Hicklin off the bench. Oh, good effort. And Small lays it in. Great hustle by Small. Watch out. Watch out. More fouled by Hicklin. Well, Hicklin saved the dunk, but Javon Small knew that ball was going to carry him long. And he, and he ran right into the vicinity. Watch him. He's lurking, and he's in the right spot. And then, obviously, no contest at the rim. Great hustle by the young man from South Bend, Indiana, transferred from East Carolina. It's more at the line. 77% foul shooter. And coming up on ESPN, more great Big 12 basketball. Texas, number nine, Kansas. And after that, number five, Tennessee will host Texas a &M. Coming up tonight on ESPN. I'm going to stay in Stillwater tonight, get a bite to eat, watch that Kansas-Texas game. I think it's Jay Will. And I'm not sure who else, but fun game. Again, Texas-Kansas, a great rivalry mark through the years. Rick Barnes, Bill Sell, Shaka Smart. That, that rivalry will go away. You know, McCollum's had the knee issue, which may keep him out again tonight. We'll see. So we've heard. By the way, I don't want to be presumptuous, but Jamal Shedd will be the Big 12 Player of the Year. Another incredible performance today. Baylor with a game effort, getting that game to overtime. And Houston doing what they do. They just know how to win. By the way, nice move. Let's see who the fouls on is Godwin. And Daly, as well as Dr. all wound up on the court. That's not a bad piece of officiating. The official, the, the official out top waited to make sure. There's a little bump right there. You see how Dother gets in the way of the drive. And people say, well, why do you make a late, you know, why was it a late whistle? And to me, it's, did he get it right? He waited a little bit. Good people officiating right there by Bobby Vassant. If I was coaching, I, I didn't care whether you were a half second late on the whistle. Just get the call right. This young man is a basketball junkie. Mom was coached in college and the NBA. Dad played at TCU and spent the last four years down at IMG Academy, where his mom was at one time the lead basketball instructor there on the women's side. Well, a five-point lead. Oklahoma State, their largest of the game. The Sooners haven't had a field goal since the 11:54 mark when that use and layup. Well, it's early, but this is a completely different Cowboy team than the one we've seen, oh, I'd say about a month ago. Really connected. Yuzan ends the drought with another bucket. Nicely done. He used his big man as a shield to get to the rim. And he shielded the big defender in the lane who could not get to the ball. Oh, Keller all of a sudden spotting the defender. You are going to love this kid, folks. If you not have heard of Jamiron Keller, he is going to be a Big 12 star, only a freshman. Last couple games, he's been absolutely sensational. We had a nice one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation with him last night. He's listed 6'3", 210. He's every bit of all that, if not more. You know what? The great Eddie Sutton would have loved that kid, man, because he is tough, hard nosed, and he plays smart. Catch and shoot. Three! Good job, Michael Wright! Gets 
to the bounce. Timeout, OU. Fines handed out by the conference. Don't discourage fans from storming the court. Does something else need to be done now? Well, it's a, not only a problem for Duke and losing a key player, hopefully Kyle's not seriously hurt, but it's a problem for Wake Forest. Because for Tom Greenpoint, you know, we've all coached in hostile environments. We love the celebration. I'm not necessarily against court storming, but it, there has to be a great security plan in place to get the uh, visiting team off the floor. And it's obvious that that was not the case today. And what, what I understand was a great crowd at Lawrence Joel Coliseum. Wake Forest has got to be prepared for that and do better. Colin misses the three. Jalen Moore. I told you, Mark, you know, K.J. Adams is in this mix. Give me a second. I can think of some great athletes in this league, but certainly Jalen Moore is right there at the top. What a, what a rebound right there. A big bucket for the Sooners out of their timeout. As Oklahoma State had been on an 11-3 run prior to that. Well, there's the second game three now for Oklahoma State after John Michael Wright's first a short time ago. I'm a big fan of Eric Daly Jr., man. He plays with great enthusiasm, and for a kid six foot eight, he's got a multitude of offensive skills. Pokes up by nine, their largest lead. Soares on that bad ankle. Now see, he was hobbling there. And seems to be favoring that ankle again. Yeah, we got to keep an eye on him because he came down hard. He's grimacing. Small pocket pass. Daly finishes. And Jerry Pollard, the lead official, is going to stop play because he notices the limp of Soares and will allow him to come off the court. And that's a bad, bad sign for Oklahoma. Yep, you said it earlier. He has never missed a game until last week against Kansas. And I know this from watching him play in practice. He is the ultimate competitor. Young man from Boston, Mass. Hard road to Norman. And uh, we just hope he's not seriously hurt. They need him. They're already without Hughley. Yuzan punched, had it punched out, able to keep it right back. Seven to shoot. Down to four. Yuzan, three, good. They had missed their first eight three-point attempts and hit there. Javon Small thought he had Yuzan in his back pocket, and once Yuzan got behind the screen, Small, Small gave him too much space, and he paid for it. Gero Santa lost it, gets it back. Williams, clear his pace, gives it to Daly. Garrison back tap, but he went over the back of Godwin. Watch now at the very end of this play with the shot clock going down. Small catches his breath like, yeah, you're not getting by me. And just that little hesitation gives Yuzan to uh, the, the space to knock it down. And Vaughn word a valuable lesson right there. You see Garrison taking a seat. That was his second. So he comes out with just under five minutes to play in the half. We'll see if... We have seen the last of him in the first half. North Weather gives it up. Shot clock short again. Down to three. Another use at three. Around and out. Oklahoma was getting those looks of the paint earlier. Not so much now, but small. A clear path to the rim again. Great change of pace and direction play right there by Small. It looked like a wide receiver juking a defensive back to get open. Killer the block, but apparently the contact with the body as well. Watch Javon Small, the transfer from ECU. Open court speed. Ooh.
and this is the only place we can talk about the thunder coming to town rebuilding this arena doubling it right but right now honestly this is the only place in the big 12 where it's not a difficult home court atmosphere and it's the best league in the country not for a million reasons other than besides coaching players whatever but the home courts and what you're seeing today is a young team feeding off the energy of this great Calgary Ivor crowd, which we've seen in the past. And I know it's a bit of a catch-22 here. Fans are saying, hey, win more will come up. And they started 0-6 in conference play. But uh, no question, this place historically, Gallagher Ivor Arena has been a big time home court No business. question. And, and, and you made a great point. The team's got to do their part. In the last three, four, five games, they are. Taylor. Yeah. They, they just look like a they look like a good basketball team. The ball's moving. There's no tough shots. Everybody's sharing it, and they're getting it done on the defensive end as well. McCollum fires to the corner. Northweather three. And they're gonna get more on the foul. And coming up tomorrow, Elizabeth Kidley, number eight Virginia Tech. They host North Carolina, that's at 2 Eastern on ACC Network. And the College Game Day crew tips off our coverage in Blacksburg at 11 a.m. on ESPN. I did the women's tournament for seven years, and I remember Kenny Brooks getting a little little James Madison University up and running, and now what he's doing at Virginia Tech is just absolutely outstanding. In fact, Kenny Brooks played for the great Lefty Grizzell, as I recall, at, at James Madison. Coach pass last week. Take his hand. Oh. Daly, I think he was expecting small to cut. Quickly returned the pass, but it's a turnover. McCollum three in and out. Offensive rebound, Godwin. Oklahoma two weeks ago in their four-point win over Oklahoma State with nine for 23 beyond the arc. Today they're one for 12 and make it one for 13. More. Godwin, no. Several chances for the Sooners. Bailey has scored seven of the last nine points for Oklahoma State. And it's in the flow of the offense. Shooter. Here's Daly on the offensive rebound. Nice pass. Great nice play. Blocked by Moore. Now McCollum sprints down high off the glass and a miss. Right spots up three. Man, great, great look. You've got to shoot that. Good hustle. Keller, collision, bodies flying, a whistle. And a sooner foul. Who doesn't love this excitement, man, and this energy? This first half has flown by, particularly if you're a Cowboy fan. Great opportunities to score. You see the hustle right there. And again, that's a similar point to what we saw earlier where two guys hustling for it, but you got to penalize the, uh, the player that knocks the opponent down. So for me, the last time I saw Oklahoma State in person was the Bedlam game in Norman. Here's what's different. Oklahoma State has confidence uh, that great has been lacking really almost all season. They are playing with that again today. I, I, I couldn't agree more, and I don't care about numbers, analytics. I just know my eyes are telling me they look like they're a confident team to look for. And they're playing like it, and the ball's moving. Daly, bullet pass, small, muscles through, and gets the roll up off the left side. It looked like it was going to spin in, but it popped out. Sooners need some action here. A couple baskets. Look who's back in. It's Soares. Nice. And he'll go to the line. Yep, great to see Soares back. Listen. We know Oklahoma's lost two in a row, but when you lose Ugly and Suarez for a couple of games, that is a killer because Oklahoma really does have seven or eight starters, and the guy walking to the foul line is a key, key player. Well, the game against Kansas, and you saw it in person, it was a perfect example. Their short bench, and Porter Moser didn't use it as an excuse, but it certainly played a reason to the outcome of that game. Well, there's no doubt. There is no doubt. This is a team that has played great all season. 13 and one start. Pretty competitive early in Big 12 play. Still very competitive. And right now they're an eight seed. And the other one eight deep off the bench against Kansas. And Max 
Kleinschek had to play a bunch of minutes in that game, something he hadn't done all year. Yep, and now North weather, you can see Porter is going to roll with the freshman. Bailey, he's in that link, bounces off. Williams, one dribble. This really reminds me of an Eddie Sutton team with the toughness, the defense, and the ball movement. Bailey handoff, small, O'Reilly runs into Daly, and here Collins blows the whistle. If you're Oklahoma right now, you're down nine, you gotta stop, you need a stop. You may have two more possessions, and you've got to get a couple baskets to make yourself feel good. You know, much the way Kansas did in Norman last week when it went from 10 to 5 in the last minute of that half. And Porter Moser told us today that gave Kansas, he thought, a lot of confidence. Small feet in daily. He's got the size advantage on Yuzan. Barrels puts the shoulder down and scores. Oh, he did such a good job. There was no way he was going to get an offensive foul. But that little nudge with the shoulder created great separation. I'm impressed, man. This is fun. Soren. Second three of the game for Oklahoma. Now, this two for 14. Watch this, Mark. This is great coaching right there. They're not going to inbound the ball until 30 seconds. Perfectly done. That ball went through the net at 38, and they made sure they did not get Oklahoma a chance to get a last possession. And now they can use the use it or lose it timeout and can hold it for the final shot. Timeout. <laughs> Run that back. Not such, not such you know that. what that means? They practice that. That means they practice that. Good job, Oklahoma State. Two terrific coaches here tonight. Hey, by the way, Porter Moser would have done the same exact thing. <laughs> Oklahoma State is led by as many as 11. OU had a quick three point lead early in the game at 14 11. Down to three, lost the ball. Now a chance for midcourt for Owe. Off the shot clock. And they prevent Oklahoma State from even getting the shot off. How about Daly off the bench? Yep, he's been a stop. Again, this Bedlam rivalry. Has been around in basketball, men's basketball, since 1916, 108 years. To an end on the campus sites after this game tonight. The draw movement. Tipped. More offensive rebound. One dribble. Off somebody's leg goes out of bounds, but it's going to stay with Oklahoma. Uh, that, to my point, the Porter Moser runs a great ATO first play in the second half. Wide open shot by JV McCollum just can't knock it down. JV, yep. by the way, 0 for 6 yes. behind the arc. It's yep. been a, a trend, unfortunately, for him. And after the first couple of games of conference play, but he gets the jumper to go there away from the ball. Basket is good. Jerry Thomas got a foul now. Keller is slow getting up. Keller is a tank, so he'll be okay. Let's watch the bottom of the screen. That's a common foul, and so that ball will stay underneath. It's kind of interesting because he almost had a little bit of a hook and hold there. But the officiating crew decided not to take a look at it. Soares, and that's a good trip down the floor for the Sooners. He suddenly are within four. Four points, but more important, you see uh, Waldo Soares out there doing his thing. It's got to be a good sign if you're a Sooner fan. And he has eight points off the bench, three or four shooting. has played a total of eight minutes in that ankle. Watch out the liver he is, Defense. Three, John Michael Wright. Rebound Sky for That's more. He's coming up on double digit rebounds. So career high is 11. Chance to make this a one possession game just over a minute into the second half for the Sooners. McCollum drew contact from Williams. 
Williams says there was an elbow from the other side. Jerry Pollard says foul on the defense. Yep. Mike McCollum now is looking for a bailout on this drive. And here comes a defender and see he's not legal. I mean, we love the way uh, Keon Williams plays. It's got to be legal before there's any kind of contact. Jerry's made that call 10,000 times. Suarez trying to back down small turn around. Got it. And wow, right out of the gate. Oklahoma scored the first six points of the half and are only down two. And Suarez, pretty good starting lineup second half by Porter Moser. Nice adjustment right there. Garrison, who didn't play the last four or five minutes in the first half with two fouls. He's going at it with Godwin again. And eventually, Jerry Pollard says, I got to blow the whistle here. The foul coming on down there. Let's go back to the other end now. Watch Suarez. He's got small back in it. This is a really soft. Pretty touch. That play right there, Mark, is an indication of what we said when we felt that over the stretch of about a month he was Oklahoma's best player. Coming off the bench. Nice switch. Oh! Oh! Williams. An emphatic first bucket of the second half for the Pokes. He slipped a switch screen. And and he's a little he's, he's talking, but I not crazy about that, but I do I do love his energy. That has gotten the crowd right back into it, and a travel. Fifth sooner turnover. Like it. See the switch? Not a good switch. And Keon goes up to the top of this arena and I just love him. He's a sophomore. And again, part of this youth, youthful Cowboy team. He was a rim rocker. I think with, you know, Jerry Pollard, I had a long talk with him a couple weeks ago. He, he knows the art of officiating. He doesn't mind the enthusiasm, but he's going to make sure there's no taunting. And he's not going to tee a guy unless it's just overt. He's like the cop on the beat, which, by the way, is what he did for many, many years. In the St. Louis, Missouri area. Williams. There's a whistle right as he was putting up that shot. Yeah, that's a really good call by Chris Pacey because the energy in this building is off the charts and the intensity out here is very high. And so what you got to do right now is make sure you eliminate all the, the over-overt contact. They're letting these guys play. But you don't want this to become wrestling, which, by the way, they have tomorrow afternoon in this building. There'll be 14,000 in here as number two Oklahoma State hosts number four Iowa. It will that? be packed. They love the wrestling, Wrestling Hall of Fame, just right next to the Gallagher Arena. By the way, that foul is on Jalen Moore, and that's his third. That is significant for the Sooners. Good job by Oklahoma starting out the second half. Really. Down low, Garrison again. And another foul going to be called on Godwin. He's looking around and saying, what else can I do? Well, what he's doing is he's got to just move his feet a little better. He's walking under Garrison. Garrison is going to have to make a very tough shot. Now watch. They let the contact go. That's fine. But watch as he comes up the lane. He's still bodying him. And Sam's played enough basketball to know that you've got the guy 10 feet out. Make him hit a tough two, a jump hook from 10 feet. Nobody does that. Well, here we get another act. Garrett, he got one, and this time he got an offensive foul. And that's, that's smart play by Godwin. And Garrison, as a freshman, has got to know they've been letting you bump in there. And, and the next time it happens, Godwin takes the blow. There's it. That's, that's good basketball. That is great officiating. You got you got fans watching the TV. They want to throw a shoe through the screen right now. Saying, "What's that guy talking about?" That's a good piece of officiating, and that's what, that's exactly what Mike Boynton's telling him right now. So hey, they're letting you bump, but you can't go over the top. Third foul on Garrison, so he comes out not quite three minutes into the second half. That's a freshman foul right there. He'll get that. Torres. 
Owen, one dribble, reverses and scores. Good basketball right there. Godwin was under control. Owe, great cut from the weak side, and then he went opposite side of the rim to protect that shot from the shot blocker. 8-2 run for OU to start this second half. Remember what we talked about in the locker room with quarter both before the game? The second half starts, right? Big, and Oklahoma's hit their last four shots from the field. Black clock over 10. They look to trap small. Godwin deals off. The pass goes down low. And that allows Daly to score. What a great pass by Small because he took on the double team. And when you use a backup dribble against a trap, it gives you time and space. 13 for Daly, whose career high is 15, which came at Kansas State. Use hands, got to put it up. Daly this time with Owen. Look at that pass. Cut. Keon Williams having himself a day. Daly dropping more dimes than a guy with a hole in his pants. Keller's going to get the foul. Timeout. Oh man, there's excitement in this building. Bedlam, 13,000 energy for, and it is just absolutely the way it should be. And hopefully, we'll get back to that. This final Bedlam campus matchup: OU OSU. Sooners down by six, trying to cut into it. High off the glass. Owen oh, cleans it up on the offside. Nicely done, absolutely. Got that ball softly on the rim. Brought the defense over to help, and Owe cleaned it up. Second bucket for Otega Owe, actually third. He has six points. By the way, not only Garrison, but Keller also with three fouls for Oklahoma State. So neither on the floor right now for the Pokes. Williams spinning baseline. And McCollum picks up the foul. Well, here's our next NBA Saturday primetime game on ABC and the ESPN app. Jalen Brunson and the Knicks will host Jason Tatum in the Eastern Conference leading Celtics coverage tips with NBA Countdown at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Man, I've been watching Jalen Brunson for a long time. That is so cool to see what he has accomplished. Great career at Villanova, two national titles. You know, he was coached in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade by a guy that I recruited and coached. Remember Dickie Simpkins? Oh, yes. And, and played for the Bulls, played at Providence College. Ready for this? The backcourt in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade in Chicago. And they were nondescript. It was a small little AAU team. Javon Carter and Jalen Brunson. Now, now both in the NBA. Two great young men. As we saw Javon in the Big 12 for four years. An amazing career. Foul. Oh, he got knocked by Williams. Puts up the shot and scores. Yep. Good job by Otega holding that pivot foot. So he now has eight points. Otega OA. He has not been in double figures in seven games. But Small had another good shot. But he did a terrible job of fighting over that screen and leaving Northweather out to drive after he scored. He can't do that, Otega. You got to get back on D. Thought he got fouled and was complaining. Dangerous pass intended for more loose. Now Michael Williams hands, hands it to Daly. Uh oh, Daly with some nifty dribbling, avoided the steal attempt by Owen. You know what I like? He didn't take a bad shot right out of that. Nice pass, slide pass, Hicklin. Did everything but go down. And Hicklin usually won't miss that. The transfer from North Florida. He started his career at OBU, Oklahoma Baptist. That's a that's usually dead eye for him. He's been a 40% three-point shooter this year. Blocking foul going against Hicklin. Let's take a look. I, I thought that might have been a charge. He's allowed to let's see if he's legal. He's legal. He's legal. I believe that's a charge. He's allowed to move sideways and 
Listen, this crew has done a great job today to this point. I thought he was legal, and I thought he took the contact in the chest. Hey, we play on. So a third Cowboy now with three fouls. Hicklin joining Garrison and Keller. Three away. Got an offensive rebound and put back. And that's finished. Same guy there. Sure is. Young man from Ada, Oklahoma, started his career at Wofford. Last year, a preferred walk-on, earned a scholarship. The, by, by analysis, by analytics, he is the number one offensive rebounder in the country. Playing that on a dead ball. Small has Godwin on him. Oh! Two-point shot, kissed it in. Oh. Bank, short bank. Not going to complain about that one. He's got 15. Back to a two-possession game with 12 and a half minutes to go in Bedlam. Good job by Oklahoma. They switched the short roll, so there was no class place to pass it. Use and answers. Porter Moser won the foul as well. Didn't get it. Daly. Man, he has been a monster off the bench. 15 points. And the play of both teams on the offensive end today absolutely excellent the defense is pretty good but great offensive play some individuals some team oriented passing really well played game Moore feeds Godwin gets a little push from Small trying to take advantage stumble as Small pulled the chair out from under him but Javon's going to get the foul how about Javon Small it's Saturday career for I have a program that I mentioned Kenny Brooks earlier what a great job he's done there in Blacksburg both these teams hot shooting starts to begin the second half boys Hughes had six of the last seven from the field the Sooners four of their last five that box at seven away I sold on Williams nice. takes him to the rim and lays it in. Otega. Well, he's playing well today. We talked to Porter Moser. He was adamant about the fact that he needs to get back to the way we saw him get out of that start this year. That's 10 points, by the way, for him. So he's in double figures for Keon Williams. Kicks in a three for the post. Well, he, he's going to be a hero here. You know, he had ups and downs as a freshman last year, but he's one of those guys this league manufactures the Big 12. Comes out of nowhere, becomes a really good player. Godwin saves it. Soares eyes a three. Man. Oh, man. Happy to have him back if you're a Sooner fan. They missed him last Saturday. You just love the swag. I would say humble confidence from... Young man from Boston, Massachusetts. And he is the leading scorer for the Sooners with 13 points. And he's hit both of his three-point shots. Small fires to Williams, who he thought was in the corner, but Williams was streaking towards the bucket. Well, let's watch Keon Williams operate in the corner right here. You know, by percentage, it's 31%, but he knows the big moments. And then Suarez, young man who played in Oregon last year for Dana Altman, started his career South Plains down in the... Part of West Texas that has great Juco basketball and raised by a single dad. There was uh, some rough times back in Boston, but what a great kid and what a great run and, and uh, journey he's had. Let's put it that way. Now you mentioned the Kansas game, the first game that he has missed, not only just this season, but his entire playing career, not only college, but he said any time that yeah. he's been playing since he's been playing the sport. Uh, we thought he was going to play last week after seeing him in a boot during the walkthrough in the morning. Here is Sorens. Moving around pretty well right now. And then Nicole Rizzoli, eight points here in the second half. Couldn't add to it there. Godwin chasing with Garrison. That goes flying into the first row. But, uh, I thought Garrison might have hit that last, but there's the effort by Godwin on the offensive glass. I mentioned this earlier. Analytically, let's watch this ball as it goes out of bounds right here. That looks like Godwin hit it last, but Godwin is the best offensive rebounder in the country by analytics. 
Every five half-court possessions, he grabs one rebound on the offensive glass. Obviously, that's 20%. I went to St. Edmunds Elementary School. But <laughs> that effort is the best in college basketball. Once every five possessions, he gets the ball back for your team. Which is an insanely high figure. It's, it is very high. Small gets it to go. Good job of absorbing that contact from Godwin. Or I think Northweather, I should say. Small had 17 points two weeks ago against OU. He's at 17 right now today. Both teams have had a lot of con con contributors today. Northweather has the advantage on Hickman, but this passes out and Soros! Chance for a four point play. Freshman mistake, but a freshman uh, superlative on the pass by Northweather. Watch him look opposite, and here comes Garrison, and you got to give the shooter room to land. And as we had a great view, as soon as it left his hands, you knew he was going to make it. And is that his fourth? That is number four on Garrison, it's, yes. It, again, you know, you love Garrison's long-term potential. He just has to understand that this is a cerebral game, and he's a smart player. But experience is a big factor when you play in this league. And for Soares, coming down on the ankle there, a bit concerned, but he seems to be not affected. And he finishes the four-point play. Seven straight points for all. You have all come from Rivaldo Soares. And I said it earlier, he is, at this point in the season, Oklahoma's best player. No trouble! Trouble! Miller had to adjust, went to the other side. They were able to kind of flip it over the shoulder and in. And Sawyer's got caught on that back screen. Keller's been quiet today, but we know he can heat up. Lead back to four for the Pokes. We're under nine minutes to go in Bedlam. Long three, McCollum. He's now 0 for 7 from beyond the arc, and that one was well behind the arc. Keller crosses over. Shovels, small, quick pass. Williams wouldn't have take more into the lane. Just kind of flipped it up with the left hand and didn't get it there. And Moore did a good job of using that chest to keep Williams from getting closer to the rim. This is high energy today. This is a random game in the Big 12, but this is how it is every night, folks, if you're just tuning in and you've been on, on Mars. McCollum, offensive rebound, Northweather, three. Short from Uzan. Good look. And Daly wasn't going to give them a second opportunity at an offensive rebound. Small. Couldn't kiss that one in. Moore kicks. Uzan in the lane. McCollum swings it into the corner. Good patience. Good ball movement. Didn't have a good shot. Every time OU's gotten it down to single digits or at least a one possession game, Oklahoma State has responded. Sooner's trying to respond with a Northweather three. Good! How do you gain confidence? Your coach tells you you're not coming out because we need you to play. And that's one thing Northweather can really do is shoot the three ball as a stretch big. Remember the two he made down at Kansas early in the year? Yeah, hit. A couple of threes in Allen Fieldhouse. It is 6 11 redshirt freshman. It's in a one point game. I uh, can't do that. We knew that was coming. Uh, we come to a timeout. How about the energy in this building today? Uh, awesome. Off the chart. But what else is new? Kick out Jefferson, Missouri's finest. The energy of Godwood and Moore, particularly. Otega always had a good day today as well. And this young Cowboy team who showed great poise at Cincinnati early in the week is getting tested one more time. So this final Bedlam game on campus. Six and a half minutes or so to go in a one-point game. Daly backing down Northweather. Oh my God! And a foul on Northweather. Coming up on ESPN, just in a tad bit, Texas, Kansas from Allen Fieldhouse at 6 Eastern time, 5 Central, and then...
After that, number five, Tennessee will host Texas A&M. And Kansas rare, rarely chases the top of the Big 12. But this year, with, with Houston in the league and Iowa State, one of the nation's surprises, KU's got to scramble down the stretch to get a piece of that Big 12 regular season title. Houston in overtime today, one at Baylor. Iowa State was able to stay a game back with their win over West Virginia in Ames. And you see OU right now at 6-7. and seven. Really important game, not only for both teams, uh, but especially OU trying to, and they're eight seed right now according to Lenore. Right, and you don't want to, you don't want to fall off the face of the earth down the stretch of the season. Their schedule is very difficult, as you know. Right now they're in, according to Joey Brackets, but mid-February, you can't take anything for granted. Northwater picks up the dribble. The shot clock's already at eight. Jalen Moore trying to make something happen. Crash into Small, and that's an offensive foul. A little bit of panic by Moore because the clock was going down. He was out there at the top of the key, and he just put his head down. And again, if you're illegal, you're allowed to move sideways. So watch, he's legal, and then you just can't run over the defender. You know, in the old days, we'd say, well, the defender was moving. That's not the rule. Once you've established legal guarding position, you can move sideways or obliquely, which I've been told means backwards. Watch out. Jim Iron Keller. Timeout, Oklahoma. And Mike Thornton has ripped off the orange. And has fired up this crowd for the final Bedlam matchup. Great motion here today, last Bedlam game. Hey, Mike's been under the gun a little bit. Young team, they have really responded, as they usually do in February for Mike Boynton. And just an old-school Gallagher-Iver atmosphere today. Great to see. It's almost like a 108-year Bedlam rivalry is coming to, if not an end, and at least... An undetermined suspension. Yeah. Yep. Godwin gets an important bucket there for the Sooners. They kind of stem the tide, and it's still a one, not a one possession game again. And you know the confidence that Porter Moser has because coming out of a timeout, he went right to Sam, and Sam delivered nicely off the glass. Tell you what, we've been talking about the atmosphere here. Oklahoma State has really met the challenge. in the ball movement have been the magical elixir for this recent Oklahoma State uh, resurgence, if you will. Now, time to answer always does. I'll tell you what, again, the cutting off the ball today by both teams has been really good. When you play pressured defensive teams, they put five on one side, so you've got to be able to make them pay from the back side. Dozen points for Ole, his first double-figure scoring game since January 27th at Texas Tech when he had 14. Three, John Michael Wright off the heel. Rebound right to Daly. Nice pass, blind, spinning, one score! I'll tell you, what a rebound by Daly. You couldn't textbook it better than that. Daly having a career day. Four assists in his 26 minutes. We, we talked about it at the very beginning. What's made this Oklahoma State team very competitive the last five games is their ball movement and unselfishness. And another hero today, to your point, is Eric Daly Jr. Keon Williams, by the way, 18 points. That's a new career high for him. Exceedingly 17 points. Yeah, had earlier this season against K-State. Let's see what we got out of the timeout for Oklahoma. Double away for the shooter. That's open to Cullen. Oh, he feels good about that, doesn't he? He had missed his first seven. Yep. Remember, they ran that same play to start the second half from the left side. And Porter Moser went back to him a little double screen away. And you could just see the look on his face like, man, finally. A Oklahoma, I don't think they've been outplayed today, but the energy in this building has favored the Cowboys, and Oklahoma's answered the bell. Every time the Sooners have gotten to a one-possession game, 
Folks have answered. Keller, three. Batted around and in. Oh, how oh, that went in. It's in. It's in the Jordan Shore. He didn't even know how it went in. Morgan oh, answering for the Sooners. Oh, the Bedlam rolling on. Oh, man. We said it early. If you're in the, if you're on, if you're at home watching, the intensity level is unbelievable. Watch this play here. It's tipped in by Moore and Daly. And, whoops, okay. And Jalen Moore comes right back and goes right back at Daly with a chance at an end one. This has been a high, high level game today. We see Garrison back with four part. So keep an eye on him. You see for Moore, double double, 11 and 13, his first double double of the season. He's been playing with four fouls for a while. Yes, he has. And right now, I'm looking at Oklahoma State. They got three freshmen on the court. And I'm just going to say this. I don't know what's going to happen with Mike Boynton, but if this freshman group can stay together, they have play. And Oklahoma has their first lead since they were up 16-14 at the 12-minute mark of the first half. And Owe needed this game. He really did. He's playing with some exuberance. Small saw an opening, reversing, scored! Under three minutes to go, coached by one. A hundred and eight years of Bedlam. right now down the stretch Keller looking for somewhere to go dangerous McCollum steals Soros carries it into the front court got in the air finds McCollum nice Soros 19 great look by McCollum he was thinking of shooting the three Thought better of it. Bad ankle and all, and Soares leading. OU at 19. Small. Well, I would have shot that if I were Keller. He was wide open. Can't pass up a good shot at this time. Shot clock at six. Small, four to shoot. It's a three. It's off the left side. Sooners with the ball and a one-point lead. Big rebound by Oway, who has been absolutely what the doctor ordered today for Oklahoma. I go at the freshman with four. Soren is spinning. Moore going for the rebound. Foul against Oklahoma State. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball brought to you by Philip 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Mike Boynton did not agree with that call. I honestly did not see a foul on the play. Let's take a look now. There's a spin in the lane by Soares. It's a low shot clock. That's a oh. great call. Yep, and that's his that, fifth foul. That is a great call. I didn't see the foul, and Mike Boynton is giving it to Bobby Bissan. But I have to tell you, you got two young officials out here today. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say any more except that they have been up to the challenge. The veteran, a couple of good young officials. That was a great call. One of the few misses for Soros today. This one comes from the line. Keeping it a one-point game with over a minute to go. We may not be leaving here anytime soon. One and two. 
Mark, this goes without saying. Oklahoma's two game losing streak. This would be a huge, huge win in this building, given what's at stake for their season. With possession for the Pokes, down two. Small gets down low, ties it up. Timeout, Mike Martin. 30 second timeout. We're back in 30 seconds. Bedlam straight ahead. Two for one. Not enough time. So Oklahoma now has to get the best shot available. And obviously, when you think about the shot, it's McCollum to the basket. Suarez in an ISO, maybe Yuzan as well. The column. It rolls off. Oklahoma State ball. They've got a timeout if they want it. I don't think they're going to use it. Seconds left, a one and one upcoming after the eighth Sooner T5. Mike Poynton looked at his point guard and said, We're going to give it to you, and you make the play. He gets by using. First trip to the line today, one and one for Small, tied at 72 with 4.3 seconds left. He missed. Deflected. Out of bounds with under a second left. Sooner ball, they say. Now they can go to the monitor here to look at this. They should, and they will. They'll take a look to make sure that they get the time correct, and they also... It would count. Instead, it's overtime. The medal, 108 years, will go to OT in Stillwater. A timeout. Or if he played, maybe not very much. That's right. Eight, ten minutes. He's played 24 minutes so far, and we're headed to overtime. Sooners have the first possession of the OT here in Bedlam. Small lineup for the Cowboys as Daly goes to the five. Usain, tough angle shot banked in. Well, you're right about that, man. Great spin on that backboard shot by the sophomore from Las Vegas. Good start for Oklahoma. Small, they looked to trap. Godwin peels off. Second big overtime game today in this league. Houston knocking off Baylor. The road team on that one. Daly spending his big day. He's got 20. He's been absolutely sensational. Freshman from Bradenton. First overtime game of the season for OU. Second for Oklahoma State. They dropped the previous two. Well, they're 2-8 and eight in games decided by five points or less for overtime. McCollum. It's a tough shot from the right elbow. This, this Cowboy team has lost some heartbreakers. Right now, the crowd kind of tense. Yes, very. <laughs> Three and a half minutes to go in OT. Small kicks daily. And they're playing with personal fouls getting it to the rim really well done by the freshman from green texas good spin good footwork good fundamentals in the lane back and forth we go in this bedlam matchup it's still running no way dangerous pass but he found god when missed the lay in had it knocked out of his hands staying with ou Let's take a look at our wild recap brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, I 
shots. And this is the free throw that opened the door for Oklahoma. And then the last shot here. And we go to overtime. And Coach Point a little disappointed there, but Oklahoma Sooners with life. Oklahoma State led by as many as 11. And the Sooners lead has been three, and that was when it was 14-11. They're up two here with the ball. Nice. Yuzan takes a bump, shoots, got it, and one. Well done. Well done. Yuzan took the contact and stayed. His shoulders stayed level with the rim. Watch this now. Watch him take the contact, but his shoulders are at the rim right here and finishes it off the glass. Really well done. And this is the beauty of having two point guards if you're Oklahoma. McCollum hit some big shots down the stretch, and his co-pilot, Yuzan, does his thing. You see that shot? Yes. This game continues to amaze. Yep. He finishes off the three-point play. So a three-point lead equaling the largest of the game for Oklahoma. Got daily inside on Dockeridge, which is a mismatch. They can deliver. Almost threw it away now. Backing him down and an end one opportunity. They go ISO far in the post. They couldn't get one mismatch, and then watch Williams go to work on the point guard, Yuzan. Look, took a little extra hop there. score in 18 of the Sooners' first 20 games. But had gone six consecutive games in single digits coming into today's game. Left the free throw short, keeping it a two-point contest. The offensive execution in this game has been high level considering how good the defense has been. Small. Keller kicks to the corner, catch and shoot. John Martin! That's a three! They're up one! <laughs> Relatively early in this game, that looked like a real uh oh moment for OU, but he has not shown any signs of that being an issue since. No, so, and if, if you know him, you know how tough he is. You mentioned he never missed a game until last week. Little 2-2-1 pressure here. Token pressure. Just to slow the game down, it worked. It killed 10 seconds off the shot clock. Owen lost it. Costly turnover with a minute to go in overtime. He had Soares in the corner, but he drove into traffic. Cowboys will use clock here. Right, three. Left it short. Offensive board daily. Smart move. Good use, use more clock. Good job by Daly. 
Seven to shoot, 30 on the game clock. Small. Loose ball. Suitors have it. Down one. Shot clock off. Game clock over 20. No timeout. They have two if they want to use it, and they're going to use one right here. Yeah, you have to call have to call a timeout there, or you got to go quickly and give yourself a chance to get an offensive rebound. Keep your eye on more on the offensive glass when a shot goes up. Time to go. McCollum, two, he's going to have to put it up for the game. Got it! The Sooners win the final Bedlam matchup in Stillwater. The shot of the game. Number three, a Bedlam over. They will review this. It looked good. And JV on